Mountain Lion includes one of the best mail clients, simply called Mail. You can find it in your dock, the Applications folder, or through Launchpad. If you've already created an account using System Preferences in the Mail Contacts and Calendars pane, Mail will open with all of your current email. If you have not yet set up an account, do so in System Preferences, or Mail will walk you through creating an account. You can use Mail full screen by clicking the double arrow in the upper right hand corner. On the left, Mail shows me all of my email combined into one inbox. If I prefer, I can choose to show only my Mobile Me email, my iCloud email, or my Google email, which I set up earlier. If I prefer to see my folders, I can click Show on the left, and I can see my different mailboxes and folders. With Inbox selected, I will see all the email from all of my accounts. Or I can choose an individual mailbox. New emails are listed with a blue dot. Click on the email to read it, and the blue dot disappears. If mail has detected that this email is junk, it will list it as brown and note it in the header. If it's a junk email, the images will not load unless you click Load Images. You can also tell mail that this email is not junk. After 30 days, the junk filter will have configured itself and work appropriately. If an email has attachments, it will be noted with a paperclip. Photos in most documents are displayed automatically. You can easily download the attachments by secondary clicking and choosing Save Attachment. If they're photos, you can export them directly to iPhoto. If you want more options, click Details, and you can see how many attachments and their size. You can quick look the attachments and choose to save them all or save them individually. To respond to an email, you can hover over the division line and choose Reply, Reply to All, Forward, or Delete. The same options are available in the toolbar. The thumbs down will indicate that this is junk. You can also flag an email for later. Click the Flag button, and a new mailbox appears called Flagged. There are different flags for different occasions. For instance, I can mark all my travel email yellow. To create a new email, click the Compose New Email button. People in your contacts are automatically found and typed out for you. Type a few letters and press Return. Continue typing email addresses to add more people to the email. If you have multiple accounts set up in mail, you can choose which email you would like to send it from. If you need to blind carbon copy, use the down arrow and add the BCC address field. If this is something you do often, choose Customize and check the BCC field. While composing an email, you can attach things by using the Attachments button, modify your fonts, Add images directly from iPhoto, and use the stationary pane. Stationary allows you to send invitations, announcements, and more. The person receiving it has to be able to support HTML email. When you're ready to send your email, click Send or the keyboard shortcut Shift Command D. For now, I'll cancel this email and choose not to save it. If you would like to sort your email, you can create what Mail calls Mailboxes. To create a new mailbox, click the plus button in the lower left hand corner and choose New Mailbox. Choose the location for the mailbox, whether it be locally on your computer, in iCloud, or on another server. For now, I'll create it on my Mac and call this Friends. To sort your email, drag and drop. Emails are then moved from their existing mailbox to the new mailbox. You can create a smart mailbox 
which is based on criteria you set, and the emails remain in their original mailbox but are referred to from the Smart Mailbox. For my Smart Mailbox, I'll set the criteria that the email from contains the word Apple. Now any email that I have in any of my inboxes that contain the word Apple, including Johnny Appleseed, are automatically referred to from this mailbox. They still exist in their original mailbox, the inbox, but they are still referred to here. 